Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk about a game that I've played off and on since it released in Early Access back in late May of 2020. I have always enjoyed the roguelite genre for its endless gameplay loop, but Gunfire Reborn takes that concept and evolves it. The FPS roguelite genre is something that I believe that should be expanded upon, and thankfully Gunfire Reborn does that incredibly well. With its cast of several heroes to choose from, we can adjust our playstyle to our liking, and we can also experiment freely with each of their strengths and weaknesses. A normal run in Gunfire Reborn consists of running around the dungeon, gunning down any of the many enemy variants in your way, as well as searching for chests, vault portals, and vendors to help assist you in building up your hero's arsenal. Every run starts at the main menu where you can choose your hero, and within that screen you can see the abilities that each one of them has. Taking notes of what your hero can do can actually help you tremendously in looking out for specific scrolls and weapon traits. But before I confuse you with all of that, I'd really like to just talk about why I enjoy the game. To me, the gunplay is extremely satisfying. You have a ton of different weapons at your disposal like assault rifles, SMGs, snipers, and even some rocket launchers. And then there's other type of weapons like thunder gloves, talismans, and lizards, all of which can be used in different types of ways. Experimenting with all these different weapon types adds a lot of different ways to explore each situation differently, adding even more replayability with each run that you have. Okay, let's go back and talk about the build synergy that you can have when playing to your hero's abilities. Each hero has a main ability that they can do. Some might be offensive and others might be defensive, but all of them are viable in their own way. All of the heroes have a nice balance to them, which is something I feel like other roguelites tend to have as a main issue. However, Gunfire really feels fresh by not complicating the heroes that you play. And it rewards just about any progression that you make within your run. After a run, whether you complete it or not, you will earn essence based off of your progression throughout the dungeon. There you can spend the points on your skills to upgrade your heroes accordingly. This not only adds more replay value for the time that you invest, but the shift of power once your character can hold their ground is a really rewarding experience. Another item in the game that keeps your runs fresh and interesting are called scrolls. Scrolls are integral to making your run succeed. They can add general improvements overall, however, you can have a minor setback if one of your scrolls happen to be cursed. Thankfully though, a lot of this can still be avoided. Most of the time, taking a cursed scroll means earning something better at that moment, or eventually using the scroll to your advantage later on. Every single run feels refined and fresh to the point where it becomes a game to go after what you want versus what you get. Progression here is also pretty interesting. Leveling your characters and their skills will also grant you a level in the main menu. This will open up weapons and scrolls that you can still earn throughout the entire game. Characters and game modes can also be unlocked over the course of learning the basics that Gunfire Reborn has to offer. This reward-based game design is actually what kept me engaged in committing to each run whether it went my way or not. The challenges within the game have a lot of depth to them, and giving me constant positive feedback and what I've accomplished kept me playing for hours and wanting more. Scrolls of course don't make up the entire run. Vendors will be scattered around the dungeons and will be rare, but finding them is always helpful. If you're earning enough credits as you progress, you can also upgrade your weapons from the craftsman. He not only can upgrade your weapons to have more flavor text, but he can also etch your weapons to carry special traits. Another really cool vendor is the peddler. He sells scrolls, health, grenades, ammo, and a bunch of different weapons, all for a price of course. And a really good way to make sure you have a ton of credits to spend is actually looking out for the vault portals on the walls. These portals will allow you to jump into a randomized room that will present you with a challenge, and if you can complete that challenge you'll be rewarded extra for your efforts. This is where you'll find some much needed upgrades, but at the cost of risking your run. However, some of these vault rooms are basically mini-games, like get to the end in the allotted time or clear the room out of all the enemies. Some of them even have events too, like wave-based arenas or mini-bosses. There's a lot of risk to earn these rewards, but conquering these rooms are a ton of fun, and they always set up your runs to become more streamlined as you progress. When I first got this game, I played a lot of it solo, and honestly I still do. But as it kept getting updates, other friends of mine would just jump in, and the sessions we would have were filled with fun, fast-paced chaos. The simplicity of this game is that you can play it solo or with friends, and still have an amazing time. Its cell shaded art style highlights the level design and the enemies incredibly well. And this is a game I return to quite often, and it's definitely something that's earned my seal of approval when it comes to being worth the price. The developers are constantly updating this game, adjusting balance patches to just about every weapon, scroll, and hero to fit its true place within the game. Something I always love is understanding how much the developers care about their own community. A lot of the player feedback reflects on creating a memorable experience for the game, and thankfully the developers at Doogie Games actually have no intention of stopping that support anytime soon. I highly recommend that you try this game out yourself just to see what I mean. It's a ton of fun and well worth the price of entry. Anyways, I'm going to jump back in and start up another run. My name is Zen, and I hope to see you in the next one. Later.